we will continue further part of the lesson the tale of peter rabbit so let's begin today's class all of you open your english textbook and open page number 30 so children before starting today's class let us revise the lesson once again so children flopsy mopsy cotton tail and peter were four little rabbits and they lived with their mother underneath the root of a large fir tree so one morning mother says to four little rabbits you may go into the fields or down the lane but don't go to mr macgregor's garden because even father had an accident there so she says now run along and don't get into mischief so children as their mother told flopsy mopsy and cotton tail went down the lane to gather blackberries but peter was very naughty he did not listen to his mother he ran straight to the macgregor's garden and he crouches he crouches under the gate first he ate some lettuce and some french beans and then some radishes soon he fell sick at that time mr macgregor was on his knees planting cab cabbages in his garden so when he saw peter he jumped up and ran after the peter calling out stop him then peter was scared he ran all over the garden but he had forgotten the way back to the gate so while he is running he lost one of his shoes among shoes among the cabbage field and the other shoe among the potatoes field now let's see what happens next he began to run on four legs he went faster but unfortunately ran into a gooseberry net and got caught by the large brass buttons on his jacket it was a new jacket so children he began to run on four legs so tell me children how many legs does rabbit have yes you are right four legs so he started to run on four legs he went faster but unfortunately unfortunately means sadly ran he ran into a gooseberry so what do you mean by gooseberry children gooseberry is a kind of a sour fruit so sour means in kannada kuli so gooseberry is a kind of a sour fruit so unfortunately he ran into a gooseberry net and got caught by the large brass buttons on his jacket it was a new jacket so children you can see the picture in your textbook page number 30 peter shed big tears some friendly sparrows overheard his thoughts they flew to him in great excitement and asked him to try hard so children peter started crying so he was crying very badly so some friendly sparrows overheard overheard he saw saw means crying noisily so they flew to him in a great excitement and asked him to try harder to come out of the net mr mcgregor brought 
a sieve and tried to pop it on top of Peter. But Peter wriggled out just in time, leaving his jacket behind him. He rushed into the tool shed and jumped into a water can. So children, Mr. McGregor bought a sieve. So children, you can see the picture of sieve in the book, textbook page number 30. So he brought a sieve and tried to pop it on top of Peter. But Peter wriggled out. So what do you mean by wriggled out children? Wriggled out means moved out by twisting and turning. So he moved out turning and twisting. In a time. So he left his jacket behind him. Then he ran into the tool shed. So what do you mean by tool shed children? Tool shed is a room where tools are stored. So Peter ran into the tool shed and he jumped into the water can. Mr. McGregor was quite sure Peter was somewhere there. He looked carefully. So children, Mr. McGregor was quite sure that Peter was somewhere there. So, so he looked all around carefully. Suddenly, Peter sneezed. Christian, Mr. McGregor was after him instantly. Peter jumped out of a window. The window was too small for Mr. McGregor. And he was tired of running after Peter. He went back to his bath. So children, suddenly. So when he jumped into a water can, suddenly Peter sneezed. So Mr. McGregor heard that and he was after him immediately. He means Peter. So he was after Peter immediately. Then Peter jumped out of a window. But the window was too small for Mr. McGregor. So and even he was tired of running after Peter. So he, so he went back to his bus. Now turn the page and open page number 40. Peter sat down to rest. He fainted and trembled with fright. He did not know which way to go. Also, he was very down with sitting in that can. So children, Peter sat down to take rest. So he fainted. Fainted means breathe heavily and he trembled. Trembled means shake. Trembled with fright. So he was shaking with fear. He did not know which way to go. Also he was very damp. Damp means slightly wet. So he was wet with the sitting in that can. Okay children, this is enough for today's class. In next class, we will discuss further part of this story. Now let us move towards new words in this lesson. So the first one is legacies. L-E-T-T-U-C-E-S. Legacies. Second one is French beans.
सेकेंड वन इज फ्रेंच बी 